hello everyone and welcome back to the channel if you haven't had a chance to do so by now please be sure to like comment subscribe and share and to go a step further tap the notification bell that way you'll be updated every time i'm uploading something new um yeah i know this is different guys it's dark um it's dark 30 girl hello god it is um i'm on my way to the gym this is the first time i've actually done a you know kind of after dark car conversation and on the first time I've actually been to the gym this late at night, shout out to the 24 hour gyms girl. I appreciate you because I need a stress reliever girl. I need to release the stress. And since dick isn't available and I've kind of thrown men on the back burner of life, um, this is the next best thing to kind of, you know, let it all bleed out. Hello God, <laughs> bitch, hello God, so. Yeah, well, that's what we're doing, and that's why it's dark. I apologize. Also, y'all, don't be disappointed in me. I'm, we're all a work in progress. I have picked back up smoking, girl. I know. I, I know. I'm going to get a handle on it, y'all, but I have, I have been going through, girl. Okay? Nobody told me that the road would be okay nobody told me girl hello god bitch nobody told me um but i'm trying to, i'm gonna get it together girl i'm about to go on another cleanse soon because i've also been feeling a little ugh lately so yeah i just bought me some new um fleets girl i need to flush everything girl i'm about to go to the grocery store tomorrow and get me some of my stuff from my detox juice because I need to lay it all on the line, girl, okay? I need to flush, girl. Hello, God. I need to get it all out, girl. Because, bitch, my, I feel just... You ever just feel backed up and bloated? And I'm not saying I've been eating trash. I've been working out a lot. I have been, you know... I'm not going to say trash food, but, girl, like... Stuff you know that isn't really good for, you know, gut support, girl. Hello. But, um... I got to get it together. Because honestly, like, if I just go clean for 30 days, I guarantee you I'll drop even more weight faster. I'll be even closer to my goal, bitch. Oh, that's so much better. Shout out to the street lights, girl. Hello. Girl, that pre-workout will have you sweating your life away, bitch. And I like pre-workout, but, like, it's... It's true what they say, girl. Like, you start to smell like that shit. And, girl, and it makes you horny as fuck, girl. I did, I, I didn't even, I've talked about this before, but, like, the gym, when you working out, girl, like, that shit gets you horny as fuck. I was reading about that earlier today. I was like, girl, it is true. It's science, girl. Jesus. Bill Nye never taught me that, honey. Okay. Girl. Okay, so I wanted to get into something real quick. Orlando Brown is out here, girl, spilling tea. But then again, tea is things that could be based in truth or should be based in truth. Hello, God. Um, and unfortunately, because the words that are coming out of this man's mouth, people don't seem to believe a word. They just kind of overlook He's like the drunk uncle girl at the parties, girl. At the barbecue. The barbecue. I thought I smelled someone barbecuing. Okay, girl. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> yes, girl. I just... And it kind of sucks because I never want to discount anyone's experience. But it's easy to ridicule and to, to laugh and to not believe someone who has an obvious public history of being, you know, a mental case girl, someone who suffers from, you know, drug addiction and things of that nature. It's so easy to discredit them and to overlook the things that they, they talk about. But could it be true, girl? Could Bow Wow have good pussy? Did he say something about Nick Cannon as well? Not too long ago, girl, like, before we discredit this man, let's take a 
a look into the side of the industry that he's in. We've heard a lot of the dark and creepy things that go on late in the midnight hour in the industry, girl. Whether it be music or whether it be um, TV, girl, movies, all that shit. You hear what happens, girl. Yes. So I don't want to completely discount this man's, you know, alleged experiences, girl. But again, it doesn't help that it's coming out of a meth mouth bitch. You know? I don't know, girl. Bow Wow does look like he got some good cake. Hello, God. He does seem like he would be a nice little lay. And we gotta talk about it too because who's the boy? I forgot his damn name from B2K who went on that long rant about um, Chris Stokes and the boys laying their pipes and these children late in the midnight hours, girl. Why are you riding a bike this time of night, girl? On the highway. You'll get ran over, bitch. You know, girl, like, when he came out and said it, people were like, no, God, girl, like, he's he's on drugs. He's obviously lost his fucking mind. All that shit, bitch. Nah, girl, let's not run around here discounting these girls' experiences. Do we really know? We can lay opinions and judgments all day long, but do we really know? Hello, God, do we know? No, we didn't live it. Hmm. I don't know, girl. I 40% believe him. Yes. The other 60 is like, girl, you need to seek somebody's rehab, girl. You need to go see Ayanla, girl. Dr. Feelgood, girl. You need to go meet somebody. Sylvia Brown, oh, she died. She died. Girl, it is a Thursday night and these hoes are everywhere on the road, girl. Jesus. They talk about a recession, but everybody is just riding around, wasting gas. Bitch, it's like mid after midnight, girl, on a Thursday. Like, what's their tea? tickets too girl like what the fuck we started to believe her to the point we started giving that whole platforms where she at now girl <laughs> we loved her for the tea and the shade and the we thought she was speaking truth to power girl and come to find out she's just another retarded bitch girl please a spiteful hateful um disgruntled employee girl she was mad she didn't get her 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 uh, her opportunities in this life. So she thought she was gonna go around and start spraying all of this alleged tea about people she so-called worked with. Girl, prostitution is still a thing, wow. These girls. See, prostitution was different back then when I was growing. Bitches cared about the way they look. These prostitutes now look like Wanda from Holiday Heart. Girl, bye. Why do you, how do you, you wonder why you've been sitting out all night, girl? Those same rundown kitten heels, bitch. Because, girl, those raggedy ass wigs, those cracked out lips, bitch. Your breath is a remnant of old man dick and must balls, girl. Let's tell the truth. You wonder why you're not getting picked up and these niggas are literally throwing change at your ass. Because you don't take the time anymore. Back then, prostitutes had respect for themselves. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean. They took pride in their appearance, girl. They used to have furs on, girl. They used to have cute tube tops on, girl. Hello, God. Beautiful wigs, girl. Beautiful makeup done. Fashions, girl. Even if it was from dots. Hello, God. Because I'm sorry. If I'm a prostitute, you're not going to be out here nutting on my good clothes. You can go ahead and nut on this dots and this American rag shit, bitch. Hello, God. These Walmart draws. You can go ahead and have those and keep those, you know. But you're not going to be getting nothing on my Dior or my Gucci, girl. 
But like these girls nowadays, they have no respect for themselves. They just think, oh, hi, how you doing? You know, how you doing? I'm, y'all, you, you, I need a ride. No, bitch, you need a bath and a hot meal, girl. And you need a brush, girl. Actually, you need a wash and rinse, bitch. Hello, God. You need something, girl, because whatever the fuck you got going on, how, how do y'all really think that you finna get some money out here, girl, looking like trash? And the crazy thing is, some of these old desperate, raggedy-ass men out here, they really go for it, girl. Ugh, girl. Y'all be out here fucking zombies, girl. And y'all don't give a damn. That's why we all say niggas ain't shit. Because y'all literally let y'all dicks lead the way. And hey, it's worked out for me, girl. I'm not gonna lie, girl. Hello, God. There's been some times in my life where I just knew these niggas was, they were just horny. They didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck. Damn, there's a lot of people here at this gym. Mm. I didn't expect to see so many motherfuckers out here. Jesus. <sighs> well, they better not bother me. That's all the fuck I gotta say. Damn, where's my parking spot at, girl? Shit. Uh, shit. Oof, girl. Yes, honey. Anyway, shout out to the prostitutes, girl. Believe it or not, even an invasive species serves a purpose, girl. <laughs> <laughs> in the ecosystem girl hello god child hello hello but y'all protect y'all selves out here in these streets girl you know there's some crazy motherfuckers out here in the world bitch so be careful mm -hmm. and make sure y'all protecting y'all selves and i ain't talking about just condoms and all of that shit i'm talking about girl put some hot sauce in your bag bitch Get your peacemaker, girl. Get you a Sister Mary Clarence, girl. These blades ain't gonna cut it nowadays. You can't bring a a, um, a knife to a gunfight, bitch. And some of y'all hoes ain't even strong enough to wield the knife the right way. And if you are gonna wield a knife, do your research on the, the human anatomy. Y'all just think cutting a bitch is gonna do it. No, you need to know where to stab a nigga at or a bitch. Go for the neck, the aorta, hello God. Believe it or not, the underarms, bitch, will get you, huh, will bleed you the fuck out, bitch. Aim for the thigh area. Hello, God, the groin area. Yes. The ankles. Hello. Shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and work out a little bit. I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later. I might do um, an add-on to this on my way home all right y'all love y'all all right everybody i'm back child child i worked the fuck out oh child i worked out girl oh so it's official all the ugly people come at night girl please <laughs> all the ugly people come at night child girl stay away girl you know i understand it can be intimidating girl but fuck <laughs> girl tika nationals for everyone <laughs> i ain't let me stop talking shit about people girl because girl it is what it is but fuck <laughs> so i'm working out child and I'm watching the news and uh, girl, NYU is out here trying to do this groundbreaking uh, trial girl where they're using pig hearts, bitch. <laughs> they're using two um, brain dead individuals because they can't use it on live, you know, people, girl, you know, it's not, you can't really, you know, the FDA ain't gonna approve it so much, girl, especially when it comes down to you know, possible groundbreaking research such as this. So they pretty much are trying to see if pig hearts 
can, you know, be a replacement. This is my thing, right? I know they say the earth provides. <laughs> but when you think, do you really want a pig's heart inside of you? I know they say it's the same blood flow, but different anatomy, obviously, right? But there are over 8 billion people on this planet. Probably more. And we have to resort to pig hearts, bitch. Like, so now instead of raising pigs to slaughter for pork chops, we're going to be raising them to slaughter them for their hearts? That's if this works. And there are conversations around the, um, the, the science community where they're successfully cloning animals now. Remember that sheep that died years ago and all the other specimens they had that failed? They're saying it's successful now. Girl. But we don't want to believe that Bow Wow has good pussy. <laughs> Girl. I just think that we're touching on things that we should not. We're messing with forces of nature that we're not supposed to. The same way I feel like venturing out into space is something we're not supposed to be doing. There's a reason why there's really only us here in this space. I'm all here for human advancement and doing research and, you know, making discoveries and things of that nature, but there are certain things I feel like humanity should not be touching, girl. We get this God complex, and I think that's why a lot of times we we find ourselves in these, uh, how could I say, these like stall moments in our evolution, because the, the powers that be are not going to elect, not going to allow us to attain immortality. Like, they keep trying to discover the fountain of youth. They keep on trying to find ways to transfer human consciousness into, you know, technology so that you can pretty much live forever. They're doing a lot of shit, girl. Brain mapping. They're doing all kinds of stuff, girl. Oh, it's horrible. Um, I don't know if you guys know that there's a bunch of sinkholes around the globe that have been recently discovered and a vast majority of these sinkholes lie ancient forests and ecosystems they're discovering species and plant life that we haven't seen before prehistoric type of teas girl most recently the one in is it china i think it is where they have prehistoric plants and creatures that they've recently discovered, a whole entire forest system, complete with everything it needs to, su to sustain on its own, girl. Thousands of feet deep into the earth, tucked away and hidden. Makes you believe Godzilla vs. Kong. Remember that, girl? Bitch, remember where they they thought the, the, what is it, the flat earth theory or whatever, girl, or... The hollow earth theory, I think it is. It brings it all into perspective now, girl. I'm telling you, these movies and these shows are having conversations about things that have been discovered already, girl. I'm they, tell me that these shows are not depicting what scientists are so-called just now finding. Girl, y'all been knew this shit existed. Girl, call it coincidence, but fuck that, girl. This is very real. We got this starts to question a lot of things we thought we knew. Creation, one of them. Hello, God. Evolution, one of them. Hello, God. Many, many different conversations that are being stirred, but no one wants to have them. Again, the world has been plunged into chaos and darkness. We're too busy trying to get our shit together to pay attention to the overall bigger picture on what's happening in our world. And when a lot of these stories come out, we look at it as, you know, girl, please, it's a, it, we don't know if that's true. We don't want to believe this. 
It's a hoax. It's conspiracy. No, girl, it's reality. And you better get into it before you get sucked into the void, bitch. Okay. Girl, I'm home. I'm finna take my big ass a motherfucking shower, girl, because I have been sweating like the great um the Great Falls, girl. What do they call that shit? Niagara Falls, girl. Hello, God. I love y'all. Be blessed and never stress. Remember that health is wealth, girl. Yeah. And just think about a lot of the stuff, girl. Just start using your third eye, girl, to really peak game, girl. Like, bitch, we're walking into an awakening. Listen to that. Follow that and do what what it, do with it what you will. And hopefully you do the right thing. All right. Bye, y'all.